4.3 Differentiation of kx to the n, where n is a positive integer or zero, and the sum of such functions. This is part of the calculus section of the Ultimate Revision Guide for Further Maths GCSE. This button here will take you back to the index for calculus and any questions um, that I've been through on exam papers. I will put links to down here so you can practice those. A good idea would be have a go at these questions before I go through them, if you know how to do them already, just to check you can do them. OK, let's crack on with the first one. So question one. Work out dy by dx. So we've got lots of functions here. We've got to differentiate. When we're differentiating um, kx to the n, the differential of that d by dx of this function, which uh, is what the y equals, we've got to remember that um, whatever the power is here, and, and uh, we're only dealing with positive powers, we're not dealing with negative powers, um, or, or when n is, x is, n is 0. So it's fairly simple. We've just got to take this number here and times by what's in, what's in front of the x of the k. So we have n times k x, and then we take 1 off this power, so it would be n minus 1. So for example, if we had to differentiate um, 2x cubed, we take this number 3, we place it in front of the 2, so 3 times 2, and then we take we do that x to the power of one, uh, 3 minus 1, which is 2. So we take 1 off the power, put it there, and then we times by the, the old power the front, so that gives us 6x squared. Okay, so let's run through these. Now sometimes we're just given um, what's called a polynomial, so a, a, mix, uh, a group of powers of x, and this one on the end here is x to the power of 0. Um, and sometimes we're given complex things that we have to multiply out and just, if we can get it into this format, we can do them individually and it's no problem. So dy by dx, for this one, we times by the 3, so we times the 5 by the 3 to give us 15, and we take 1 off the power, so it becomes x squared. This is x to the power of 1, so we do 1 times 6, which is 6, x to the power of uh, 1 minus 1, which is 0, so that's just the number 6. So when we have an x, that goes to just the number, and when we have, an x, uh, when we have a number, so x to the 0, that actually disappears when we differentiate. That has no value. Okay, the second one. Now, we can't differentiate it as it is, but if we multiply out the brackets to get y equals x cubed, because x squared times x x cubed, plus 2x squared times that out, then we could differentiate these, no problem. So dy by dx is going to be, take the 3 down, times by what's in front of the x, which is nothing, well, it's 1. So that becomes 3, and then we take 1 off the power to give us 2. Take the 2 down, times by the 2 is 4, x to the 1, which is just x. So there you go, nice, straightforward. So any sort of function that's been simplified or bracketed or double bracketed, we need to multiply it out to get it into, into individual powers of x, which we then can differentiate. Again, we've got double brackets, so this time we're going to multiply the double bracket first. We've got x times x, which is x squared. x times minus 4, which is minus 4x. 8 times x, 8 times minus 4 is minus 32, just simplify that a little bit, so x squared minus 4x plus 8x is 4x, minus 32, and then we can differentiate that, so just as we've done before, um, 2 times x, and we take 1 off the power, so that's just x to the 1, which is x, um, power 1 there, so 1 times 4 is 4, and that goes to 0, so that's uh, just 4 on its own, and then the number disappears. Okay, we shouldn't put 1s in here, we shouldn't put x to the 0 in there, we should know that those are just x and, and just the number itself, the constant. Okay, let's have a look at D and E. Okay, D is one with a fraction in. When you've got a fraction, we can separate this out into two separate things. So we've got x squared plus x squared over 4 plus 7 over 4. We can do that because we're dividing everything on the top by 4, so we separate that into two separate terms. Um, the first one, when we differentiate it, okay, we could think of this as divide by 4, or we could think of this as a quarter. So x squared over 4 is the same as a quarter 
x squared. So that's the number. So we just we just divide by four, which is the same as times and by a quarter. So when we differentiate x squared, we get two x. So we get two lots of uh, x squared over four, or two lots of a quarter, which is a half. The number disappears. So this is going to be a half x. Oops, don't know why I've got squared there. Half x. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so we've got a half x. This one, um, double bracket, so we've got 3x plus 2 times 3x plus 2. Okay, you should be reasonably good at these by now, being on further mass GCSE, so you should sort of have a quick way of multiplying these out. The way I do it is I square the front and back, and then I do the, the 2 in the middle and double it, because we've got it twice if it's, if it's all squared. And your, the middle term is always going to be doubled. Differentiating, we get 2 times 9 is 18, x and 12. Okay, so fairly routine and uh, a bit of practice. You should be able to do those, no problem. It's a very important skill for the whole of calculus because you're going to use it all the time.